Hey guys, it's Drew, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to install a brand new uh, smoked LED third brake light. And we're gonna go with, uh, on how to install that here next. All right guys, here's the tail light I, I got. I got this from Amazon. Uh, it's a third brake light, and it comes in pretty nice packaging. <clears throat> There she is, looks good. That's gonna look sweet. It's got the same kind of designs right there as the uh, my um, tail lights do. So it matches pretty well. And all this is is plug and play. This will come unhooked, but all you do is just to plug it, plug it in there. I don't know why they just don't plug it in when they come from the factory. I'm guessing this is some type of resistor. And uh, I think these are supposed to come with new screws, but for some reason mine didn't. I got these little O-rings. Um, so uh, if yours don't come with screws, um, I know my screws were pretty rusted on here. Um, so I had to just take a, a regular screwdriver and uh, kind of gently get them out of there because you didn't want to strip them. So I needed to reuse them. But this is all you're going to need for this install is just a regular screwdriver and because these uh third brake lights have a, a tendency to leak um i got me some uh gasket maker i'm gonna put that on there these uh these do come with a little rubber gasket on there it's like just like a foam actually it's foam it's not rubber um but uh, this is going to be some extra protectant on there uh, just to make sure that that don't leak. Um, I'd probably suggest doing that. Um, that way you don't have no problems with leaking. Or if you do have a, an existing problem with leaking, that will uh, help it if you're going to replace your uh, third brake light. So we're going to do the install in the next clip. All right, guys, you may need to get a uh, trim tool to uh, kind of pry it out of there because mine was in there pretty good. What we want to do is um, clean this surface here. Um, if you got like a flat trim tool there, you can kind of peel this old gasket off of here. Um, make sure that new one seats in there pretty good. And what I do is I'll take some alcohol and a microfiber cloth and I want to clean that area really well. So when I put my gasket on there, I know it's going to uh, stick to the surface. here I don't know if you could see that on there or not uh, so you want to make sure that you get the gasket uh, what I'm going to do is uh, kind of fill this <clears throat> area right here up with the gasket <clears throat> so I'm going to start it here I should have done a, a bigger hole there. I'm going to put the gasket all along here. Alright, I got my uh, gasket on there. Um, just may want to wipe the excess off of there. Um, now we're going to install our brake light. We're just going to take this piece and uh, shove it up in here. And then this connector connects to your factory connector. Make 
shouldn't be that hard to connect. I'm getting most shit all over me. It's a little bit uh hard to get on there and uh all right guys there she is installed got the cargo light on you saw what the brake lights look like that thing's gonna be pretty sweet. And it uh, matches the tail lights. The tail lights got this little light that glows in there. And that one's got the center. it for the video guys uh as always thanks for watching be sure to share subscribe and uh coming soon i'm going to have a uh four inch uh rough country suspension lift and uh later on after the suspension lift we're going to get some new wheels and tires um so uh stay tuned for that i do have a tunnel cover coming on i'll do a video on that and i bought me a bumper guard uh i'll do a video for that and then we got some uh steps coming so uh, we're going to continue this uh summer series build and uh hopefully you guys stay tuned and thanks for watching